Howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Burke Sword of the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5 episode 378. Win versus the Pirates in the last one wasn't very hard. We will face the Yankees in this one. We've seen them a thousand times um, in our career and we're just going to see them again here today. A rotation that is a little underwhelming and a bullpen that is not too bad. Ryan Weathers, Yo Yoendris Gomez, that's not awful. Um, Lineup-wise, this isn't the same Yankees you know. Nico Horner has been a long-time Yankee. Also had a great career. Swaggerty, Brett Beatty, Ellie, Ellie De La Cruz, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo is still playing, by the way. Almost 2,200 hits for him. Jason Dominguez, Ivan Melendez, Joe Adele, and Luis Campos um, rounds out this lineup. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, right now, we are tied for the top of the AL West. Let's uh, go game by game, see how many we can win. That's a loss, and that's a win. So, nice job, guys. A walk-off victory. Looks like Joey Bart might have walked it off. Uh, Emerson Hancock threw well. Byron King threw well as well. This is a good Yankees team, so... Got to find a way to beat them. Go slider break. And we do win game one. So, Ramon Gonzalez beats up on him. Chance Davis looking for a win here. He does not get it. Uh, was it his fault? It was his fault. And we will go try to get a winning episode here today and get to 9 and 0 on the ep on the episode. And yeah, we lead the league in strikeouts. Uh, nothing needs tension. All right, let's do it. We're 31 and 24 facing the 34 and 23 Yankees team. At least we're at home. I hate pitching in Yankee Stadium, so let's get into it. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Seattle Mariners. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shum. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up. And this is an important game. It's the Yankees team who we are similar to in record. Taylor moves through the season so quickly. Already starting to catch Alex, who's the other series on this channel. He was about a m five or six episodes, so almost a month ahead. And Taylor probably trailing by 19 games right now. Something like that. Ah, uh, maybe a little more. On the ground, right side. Schwartz. And he takes it himself. Oh, one down. Out. And now it's Travis Swaggerty. And first offering is fouled off. Brooks, multi-time all-star. He features a two-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider. A curve and occasionally uses a cutter. Whoa, Next dude. pitch misses, and it's two and one. Hey, here we go. Popped up. Easy play field. for Williams. Um, that's why uh, Marshall Williams. Marshall? Marshall. Marshall. Defense looks the exact same as what we've seen all year. In the box now, no balls and a strike. Foul off, and an 0 2. Popped into right, and it'll be playable for Marshall Williams. That'll be a 1, 2, 3 here in the first. Just like that, we're going to go hit. And a run scores, try two of them, and try four of them. New inning getting started. Now here's the Yankees clean An extremely up costly error for the Yanks. And, that one and the Mariners take foul. full advantage. Off to a good start in the quest to get Taylor his ninth win of the year. The 
This is one of those lineups who have the potential to come back, though, so got to be safe. Ellie hits one 105. Pretty playable. One down. On the ground. Gunner's got it. Fires. To first, two down. Two up, two down. off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Jason oh, Dominguez yeah. stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And a swing and a miss. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next Do offering I. upstairs. Oh. Hmm. Righty to the plate. Good cutter. Another one, two, three for Taylor. And Gunner's gonna drive in another one. Try two more. Drives on himself on that one. Goes deep, six nothing. And Davy Garcia is getting hit hard. That one fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time, and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work. To oh, two to Ivan. Got him. Blew it by him. Catch up to the heater. Here's Joe Adele. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Adele in his eighth season. 33 years old, and though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. And a pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine oh. again. Mm. That misses the zone, and the count is even 2-2. Two two. So a 2-2 two -two to the 8-hole. And Swing Adele swings and through it. Taylor inching and ever closer. To 3K uh, strikeouts. That was okay. Wow. We are going to get it next episode, most likely. That'll be a nice moment. Almost 380 episodes in. I didn't think we'd get it that fast, but that's just how good Taylor is. Sadly, some records are held by pitchers. That are just absurd. Taylor's never going to beat some guys. Walter Johnson, Nolan Ryan. I mean, he has a small chance, but not a great one. That's a really bad call. Just missed out on a K there. And another ball. It's a pretty bad call. That gun, that pulls, he's gonna walk. Nope, he strikes out still. So. Middle of the third. As we go to the top of the fourth, now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, these Yankees just lacking discipline at the plate. So they turn the order over here to start the fourth. Come from weak contact on pitches, they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Swing and a good pitch, one two. one, two. One and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond. I haven't even thrown a curveball in our 39 pitches so far, but pitch 40 is one, and it's outside. Three, two. Let's see if we can just hit the spot. Yep. And one gone the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Travis Swaggerty stepping in now for the Yankees. Check swing of the first pitch. Look down to third. Did not go. The Yankees hitless so far in the game. Let's pop foul. See if we can catch the inside corner here. 
Gonna leave it to Joey. He let him on. Joey, you've got to be a little quicker than that, homie. That ball's not hit far off the plate at all. I mean, that one's got to be getting to first a lot quicker than that. In fact, that's quite frustrating. Stepping in now for the Yankees. In there, and it's 0 1. Swaggerty, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. 0 and 2 as he waits. Swaggerty runs all right. That's a real I mean. nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times. So Popped up. Taylor effective. trying to get in the gold glove to talks. To That'll help. Side of the plate. He's got it. Two away down. Now back. The short shot. Man at first. Ellie so now the Yankees Dilla clean up Cruz. hitter. Ellie De La Cruz. And that's in there for strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here. That pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. Nope. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Righty delivers. Started to swing. Held up. That one fouled off. That's a very two. hard foul. Kicks and fires. Waves at the Middle of the, the fourth. And we are rolling through this lineup, but a hit on a little bloop. And then Pete Crow Armstrong, two run shot. We add one more on an RBI triple from Bobby Turner. This one is an absolute massacre in Seattle. Well, the defending champs have had good a good season so far. Keeping the mindset to attack but of even within their own division, there's a lot of competition this year and get quick outs. that you'd and call pitch. better in a lot of ways. Good job to fight that one off. They don't have one thing. That's Taylor. And Taylor is the most effective postseason player in the game. No doubt about it. Just take witness to last year's postseason. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. On One down. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now that the center field. So up next, Jason Dominguez. He's 0 for 1. Ripped on the ground to second. Down. Slings to first. And the first two set down at the top of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. Number 18 getting ready to hit. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Could have been one. efficient. There's a strike. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Just straight FU fastballs, Ivan Melendez. You can't catch him. Down he goes. To record the punch out. So the Yanks. Three, four, four, eight, eight, eight. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Joe Adele. The right hander back to work. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. All right. No one. Ah. First true hit of the day for the Yanks, and it's an Adele single. He's had a good year, actually. Good for Joe. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock. Well, Adele can fly, but not likely to seal bags. No ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at first. The spot. Oh, no, that was a great pitch. Hold the string of the changeup. Here's Nico Horner. The batter number 19, second baseman. Nico. Looking for a double play, maybe. That one fouled off. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock. They've thrown a lot of fastballs today, and the Yankees just can't hit them. They've had a great plan against fastballs and cutters. It's all the same when you're throwing at 97. Two down. And at first, now it's the right fielder, Travis Swaggerty. Well, Juan Soto looks Swaggerty. great in a Yankees oh, uniform so old. far. 
He's been on a terrific Getting on base, hitting homers. That's right, at Bobby. That'll end the sixth. We are all but okay. I mean, no, we are all okay. And we are not but okay. We are all okay. <laughs> the Yankees are all but okay. That misses. Ball, that's Two balls, no strikes. The we count. should say we have all but won this game. Meaning we have done everything but win it so far. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Played well in at the plate. Good defense. Great pitching. And, hey, we only need eight more outs here. Falls it in for the out. Next to hit, Ellie De La Cruz. In there for a spot one. there. Only two complete game shutouts. And a big swing and a miss. Happy Easter, by the way. I know it's not Easter anymore. I'm recording this on Easter, so happy Easter, friends. it back with two strikes. There's that a ball is absolutely back mashed. Back and try... And ah, it's off the wall. Good. And into second with one we'll away. stop That's there. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Dela Cruz leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swing and I'd rather not give up a run. Got to go get Doogie for that. And we do. Got to pop it over to Bobby. That'll be two down. And there's two away. Now battle. The center field. Jason. And next for New York, Jason Dominguez. Starting with a backdoor slider. That we get the call. Well, Dominguez has found himself as a consistent starter for the Yankees. He's not great when he's not a bad player. He's great in the field. So, middle of the seventh. Couple of walks leads to a three-run shot. Joey Bart. Back in Seattle, we go to the Goodness eight. gracious, man. Baseman, number 18. And that one is inside ball one. Brooks. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Swing and a miss. One, one and two. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider the curve. Well, the course of a long season, guys put a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of the hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Adele oh, at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. And he's Again, two he swings through it. And the 0-2 to Adele. He stared at that one. That was close. No, Taylor, no one's touched your fastball all day. Go get it. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, pace is See if we can get the curve ball to work. And the motor's outside. Right side, Schwartz. Takes it himself. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. It's two down. Two outs, bases empty. Luis Campos stepping in now for the Yankees. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. one. 2013 in the playoffs. He caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do Can't it again. put away Campos. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. 
Good circle change. Oh, we've got the K stuff working today as well. It's most certainly going to be 3K in the next one. We needed 18 today if we were going to do it. And, well, we have 12, so. Not going to get 18, 18, 18 strikeouts. Foul ball. But we only need six well, now in the next the series one. For him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Oh, two to Nico. Good. Bye. Swing and a miss. And There's 13 on the base. For the third straight at bat. Now the number two hitter, Travis Swaggerty. In for a strike. One one. At 29.95. That one's fouled off. 0 2. We are on the doorstep of 3K. Go get him with a cutter. No, not here. But popped up. Petey's there. Two down. And, there are two and out away here from a complete game shutout and Great utter domination in now for the Yankees. from the Mariners. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones the count. It's 0-2. Why not a high curve? Did Who says no? That is a strikeout that hit him in the chest. And it still struck him out. Oh, that's hilarious. Dub for the Mariners. 14 Ks, a complete game shutout, giving up three hits, no earn, no walks. And Taylor absolutely destroys the Yankees here today, just like old times, right? Just some fun. <laughs> As, that reminds me of our time in Baltimore when we just used to absolutely destroy him. Four complete games in a season, three shutouts in a season. Um, everything's working just fine and as intended. So, next starts against the old Padres who are having a great season so far. With this episode, we now have a little one-game lead in the West. We do hold the worst division leading record in the AL but it's fine Braves lead Cardinals lead and Padres lead Cardinals and Padres by a good bit Yankees actually by a good bit and White Sox we're the only division and the Astros are right there with us so if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel that's it for me that's Taylor Brooks episode 378 in the books